John Dooley? Here. Jim Pruitt? Here. Boris Reese? Don Weckel? Here. Bill Ernstis? Here. Okay, if you look at the agenda and see if there's anything that needs to be changed, and I already found one thing that did, that our next meeting will be Monday, October the 23rd, the fourth Monday of the month. Um, I didn't bring it up to date. I had September yet. There are five Mondays next month, so. Yeah. Anything else? If not, I'll accept the motion to approve. As amended. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Judy, you want to read the minutes from the last meeting, please? City of Greensburg, Indiana, Board of Aviation Commissioners, Monday, August the 28th, 2017. President Bill Ernst has called the meeting to order at 7 p.m. Board members present were John Dooley, Bill Ernst, Don Whipple, Boris Reese, and Jim Pruitt. Paul Schaefer of BFNS and Airport Manager Jerry Scheidler were also present. Judy Kurt performed the duties of secretary. The meeting agenda was reviewed. John Dooley made a motion and Jim Pruitt seconded the motion to approve the, gen the agenda as presented. The motion passed unanimously by voice vote 5 to 0. Judy Kurt read the July 24, 2017 minutes. John Dooley made a motion and Oris Reese seconded the motion to approve the minutes as read. The motion passed unanimously by voice vote five to zero. John Dooley read the financial report. Old business. Bill Ernstis noted that the 2018 budget will present it to the city council on September the 5th. Bill Ernstis stated that he had received only one quote for $14,155 from John Elsner and that price had gone up from last year by approximately 6%. After discussion, Don Whipple made a motion to accept the quote for $14,155 from John Elsner. Boris seconded the motion. The motion passed unanimously by roll call vote 5 to 0. Post and cable for the property line. Jim Pruitt made a motion and Don Whipple seconded the motion to table a decision on construction of a cable and gate at the entrance to the airport. The motion passed unanimously by voice vote 5 to 0. Paul Schaefer reported that BFNS had participated in teleconference calls on August the 1st and August the 17th. The next call is scheduled with the FAA on August the 31st. Paul noted that BFNS had responded to both oral and written comments on the environmental documents. The FAA is currently reviewing these comments. The BIC has until the end of September to apply for a grant. In order to comply with the grant deadline, Paul recommended that the board approve signing a grant offer. After discussion, Jim Pruitt made a motion and Don Whipple seconded the motion to, to grant authority for Bill, President Bill Ernstis and Attorney Don Tripp, Tribbett to sign a grant authorization in anticipation of FAA approval of the environmental documents. The motion passed unanimously by roll call vote 5 to 0. Paul also noted that after the additional sealant had been applied, the aggregate was still popping out on the runway apron. BFNS will be addressing this issue with the supplier. The dates for the next IAA conference in Michigan City will be on October 10th, 11th, and 12th. New board member training will be available at the conference. Bill Ernstis presented the bills for approval. Don Webble made a motion and Jim Pruitt seconded the motion to approve the payment of bills as listed. The motion passed unanimously by roll call vote 5 to 0. Comments from the board or public. Bill Ernstis reported that Jim Pruitt would be running for the 6th district seat in the House of Representatives. There being no further business before the board, Oris Reese made a motion and Jim Pruitt seconded the motion to adjourn the meeting. The motion passed unanimously by voice vote 5 to 0. And President Bill Ernstis adjourned the meeting at 7.23 p.m. The next meeting will be held on Monday, September the 25th, 2017 at City Hall at 7 p.m. Any changes or corrections? Move we accept the minutes as read. Have a second? All those in favor say aye. 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 So moved. Um, John, you want to read the financial report, please? All right, the financial report for the Greensburg Municipal Airport. We have our monies in three accounts. In our airport improvement account, 
The balance is $6,897.36. Aviation Rotary Fuel Account, $85,539.90. Airport Operations Account, $191,998.27. Uh, the combo of all three airport accounts, $284,435.53. I'll also report, uh, along with the finances, our fuel sales here year to date, here in 2017. Uh, as far as gallons, we've sold uh, of the 100 low lead, 6,740 gallons, and of Jet A fuel, we've sold 15,455 gallons as of the end of August. Okay, thank you. Uh, new business, I gave you each a thing on the M4000 next generation terminal unit. Jerry, you want to address that just a little bit? Because it came from a really late thing. I can give you one, I got an extra. But you know more about these things than I do. Well, I don't know any more about than what you can read here because they haven't really told us anything yet. But for since about two years ago, they've been talking about having to make changes to the system. Uh, the only reason I can really tell they want to make changes is because new credit cards have the chip in them and we may need to have a different type of card reader or something like that and they didn't know if we'd just change the card reader or whether we'd take a whole new system or whatever. So now they're uh, sent this thing out saying that uh, if you get in early you can get a big rebate on the new system. But they haven't said what the new system costs. So they <laughs> really don't know what we're talking about yet. So. Uh, but you know, we about a year ago we were uh, discussing maybe upgrading our, our low lead pump, and actually had a guy come in and talk about that, what it would cost to do it, and, and there was a suggestion made maybe waiting until they decide what they're going to do on this end and maybe put everything in all at once. So this is the newest information we have on that, and uh, I would say they've not offered any dates or actually cost what's going to be or anything like that if you wanted to upgrade. But they have not said that we have to upgrade either. So I'm guessing that we might be able to keep the system we've got until we need to upgrade. And as long as it's working, as far as I'm concerned, it's fine. What is it, a swipe, swipe card now? Yeah. I, I honestly think that the card swipes are going to be around for a while because uh, a lot of places that have, you know, if you ever go into a like a convenience store or something, you get gas and they've always got a card block blocking the, the chip part. So I, I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. Besides that, even if it has a chip, you can still swipe it, at least as of today. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, I, I mean, without knowing the cost, I have no Yeah, we don't know if it's something we even want to think about until they tell us what it's going to cost to get it. This is this, this, something for you to look at and think about because then you come out and with QT. Well, I wonder because I kept looking yeah. at the, the email you sent out. I kept looking, trying to find the price, and I couldn't find yeah, it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, so. it's interesting because they say uh, $439 a month after a rebate applied, but it doesn't tell you how many months. Yeah, right. Well, there, is, <laughs> there actually is yeah. up here 24 there? purchase agrees to pay QT the purchase price of 24 equal monthly installments. Okay, there you got it. Yeah. Um, that's. What's that work out to about uh, 49 times? That's 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 only about fifteen thousand dollars. So I don't know if that's yeah. what we're looking at. Or mm -hmm. Ten five. Now I'm sure when they finally price it, if you pay cash for it, it's going to be cheaper. Well, yeah, naturally. I mean, truthfully, if we were only looking at 10 5 I'd just didn't purchase the thing out. I just put the boys up monthly payments, especially when you're, you know, 5%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm with you guys. I'm not sure we should rush into a 10 5 to be about half of our fuel profits yeah. Yeah. for the year. Well, just something to think about. Okay. And we're still have not replaced that pump. We was worried about needing to replace sometime. So, uh, you know, and it's still working fine too, but you know, uh, of the two, if we need to spend money on something, the pump would still be the priority. Yeah. 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 Well, this doesn't do any good. Right. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So I don't remember. Do you remember Jerry how, how 
how much the pump was. Or... Uh, that quote we had was for around twenty-five thousand, wasn't it? I was thinking thirty-five. Maybe it's twenty-five. And originally, the guy told me off the top. He said it'd probably be about twenty thousand. They actually got surprised. It's closer to twenty-five. Okay. So, uh, but he also probably... said it would go up so much if we didn't get it last year. Mm -hmm. By this year, it would be an increase. I was going to say <laughs> it's probably up near thirty mm -hmm. now. Anyway, so. so okay. Okay, that's all I have just for you to think about. Uh, thank you, Jerry. Uh, next, Mr. Paul Schaefer of BFNS. Okay, well, uh, we still do not have a signed FONSI. The EA document is still not finalized. As we reported, we did have a couple of conference calls with the FAA. We got our responses to comments, and we're waiting on them to process that. Uh, and I really can't report on the time frame. I don't know. Um, so we're still waiting on that. The FA did uh, issue a grant you might have seen in Inside Indiana Business and uh, on the FA website. Now, before you get excited thinking that that's a foregone conclusion that the environmental will be complete, that's not the case. The grant has a condition in it. The condition at the end of the grant basically says that we cannot make a draw on the grant until the environmental document is signed. So we are still waiting on that. It really doesn't change our position much from last month other than we do has, have a piece of paper that says that in the event that the environmental is approved, then we will have access to this money to start the next phase of engineering. So uh, we'll talk more about uh, that and the schedule if the FONSI gets approved. And uh, you remember last time, this is kind of where we went dark and it, we actually took several months before we even got any communication back from, from the FA on this. So, um, you know, I was hoping that uh, the grant deadline would kind of trigger that along. Uh, it did not, but we did, you know, it wasn't a complete loss. The actions you took last month to get that grant application in did pay off and, and we do have a piece of paper there. So um, that really concludes that part of my report. Are there any questions on that? Then at the annual conference we reported last month is uh, October 9th, 11th, 12th. And you, you'll remember from years past, there's a capital improvement uh, meetings that happen in, those, in that conference. Well, because they've shortened up the conference by a day and a half now, there's not enough time to do the meetings there. So they're gonna do CIP meetings at a separate time and date and place this time. The CIP meeting for Greensburg this year will be uh, November 11th at 8.45 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. And this will be at the NDOT offices in Indianapolis. So in NDOT in Indianapolis, the okay. Indiana Government Center, ninth floor. And um, it is not a public meeting, so we request that you do not bring a quorum, but bring the, uh, the the CIP committee that's uh, tasked with discussing the CIP with the, the states and feds. Um, other than that, hope uh, to see you at the AI conference. And, uh, there's, there's oh, all just, just to clarify, the grant that, that was, I guess, issued but not issued, right? <laughs> um, that is what is that grant that we're talking about there? I mean, is it so the actual grant application was to take you to 30% design of the runway, which would basically be some of those critical stages that I know are most interested, the community is most interested in. For example, surveying, getting the legal descriptions of the actual uh, lands that we would like to purchase, and then establishing through some appraisals of the, the land uh, price that these, those would be all sorts of services there. Then we'd also do grading plans, drainage, all that preliminary type of stuff. So we have a better picture and understanding to actually start real discussions with those directly impacted. But, you know, I think to really get down the road, we can't really even establish a schedule until we have that Fonzie signed again. And if it's gonna be another 18 months or two years, then there's really not a lot of sense in even batting around the schedule right now. 
does the grant stay in place during that time? It's just not able to be drawn upon. Right? right, and and that yeah. So the the grant does have a clause in there that we have two years to begin spending the money, or it basically goes away. It has to be completely spent down in four years from the date we signed it. So uh, when Bill and I'm sure that signed the the grant agreement, that's the effective date. And um, I don't remember. Was that last week, Bill? It did last Thursday. Thursday. So that was last Thursday. So basically two years from last Thursday to make our first draw on it. So, I mean, we still could be looking at a pretty lengthy window uh, in the in the reality of things. We hope not. We certainly hope this is a is a good sign. But again, I wouldn't read too much too terribly much into it at this point. Will this can this have any effect on our NIPIUS money? Yeah, and that's really the FA was doing us a favor because if you remember last year, uh, we ended up loaning some money to Portland to keep from losing it. Right, and that money is basically Portland has agreed to pay you back that that money it was thirty some thousand dollars if I remember it and so when we do get the project moving then in another grant Portland's money will come into this but if we weren't if we were not in a position to accept the grant then we would have to do another maneuver like that loan the money to another community and the FA just thought that that's kind of silly it's just trading money around so what they agreed was to go ahead and do this grant agreement that keeps the money here in Greensburg, and if the project doesn't happen, the FA will keep the money. It's not going anywhere, but at least ties it up so we didn't have to do any of those silly maneuvers uh, going through. <coughs> okay. All right. Any other questions for Paul? Thank you for your time. Okay, thank you. Um, Next, the payment of the bills. We have a grand total of $2,850.43. Has everybody had a chance to look at them? Move to pay the bill. Second. Uh, any other discussion? If not, roll call vote, please, Judy. <coughs> John Dooley? Yes. Jim Pruitt? Yes. Don Webble? Yes. Bill Lewis? Yes. Okay. Uh, any comments from the board from the audience? If not, I'll accept the uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. We got three so moves. Uh, Second, whatever. Second. We're adjourned. Thank you. Work on that building.